Good morning. I'm Charles Osgood, and this is Sunday Morning. Journey has sold more than 70 million records over the years. Now the band is hoping to make the journey back to the top of the charts. With the help of a new recruit, John Blackstone has a summer song. After 30 years, isn't this too much? No, it's not enough. <laughs> <laughs> we keep looking for more, you know? They sound just like they did in their 1980s heyday. Same licks. Same lyrics. But Journey is back with an unlikely lead singer they found in the Philippines. Well, what was that like, standing out in front of this group the first time? I told them I just wanted to go home. Can I just back out at this moment? Like, because I saw the people, it's like <laughs> among these people. Like, <laughs> just give, give me a ticket back, back to Where the Philippines. 40-year-old like, Arnel Panetta isn't going back home anytime soon. And starting next week, he'll be seeing a lot more crowds, like this one in Las Vegas when Journey embarks on a worldwide tour. It's all brand new with this, this new friend, but it's also like we've returned to where we left off. It's just so familiar and settled and comfortable now that, the, that we got the magic back. Bass player Ross Valerie remembers Journey in its stonewashed denim pin-up prime. Selling out stadiums and scoring eight multi platinum albums. All on the soaring tenor of singer Steve Perry. But when Perry needed a hip replacement in 1996, the band says it waited well over a year for him to have surgery. When he didn't, they replaced him. A split that remains painful, says founding member Neil Sean. I've been trying to call him for a long time and just does not want to speak. And so we go through channels. We have to go through attorneys, which is really a drag. I like to just be able to pick up the telephone and say, hey, you know, how are you doing? Are you coming with new music? I'd love to hear his voice again. And Journey's fans treasured Perry's voice, too. The two other lead singers who joined the band in the past decade never captured the Perry magic. So last summer, when the band's 1981 signature hit, Don't Stop Believin', closed the much-anticipated finale of HBO's The Sopranos, Viewers were left wondering not only what happened to Tony, but whatever happened to Journey. You guys didn't even have a singer. Yeah, yeah that's true. What was that like? Thinking, hey, we can't rush out on the road right now. It drove me nuts. I couldn't take it. I was going crazy. They couldn't hit the road, but in desperation, Neil Sean hit the information superhighway searching for a voice that could take journey into the future by doing justice to its past what i was looking for and what i think what we were looking for was the legacy sound it's a tenor voice you know with soul and emotion and able to sing a ballad and where did he find that voice on youtube after two days of surfing he stumbled on a video of arnel panetta singing with the zoo a cover band in the philippines Mimicking everybody from Sting Roxon, you don't have to put on the red to Led Zeppelin. But when he did Journey, it was a revelation. Neil picked up the phone immediately and called keyboard player Jonathan Kane. It was 12 o'clock at night. I had a couple glasses of wine in me, and I was like, you got to be kidding me, Neil, right now. He goes, right now, go to the computer. Go. <laughs> Arnell couldn't believe it. 
when he got a phone call from his American idol. Are you really new shoes? Like, can I see you in webcam? I was asking him, like, come on, I gotta see you. Neil asked Arnell to fly to the U.S. for an audition. But when Arnell applied for a visa, he didn't expect to be auditioning for the immigration officer, too. Yeah. So you go in and you tell them what? Uh, he, my reason for going to the United States is? O audition for Journey, and then they went like, really? Journey? As in Journey, the band? And then uh, he asked me if, uh, if I happen to know Will in Disguise. I just sang it right away, like, uh, Will in Disguise and Turn It! As in, and every, everybody there was like, they looked at me as if they were so surprised. Whoa, what, what is he singing for? Like, oh, they will help the paperwork come along. Yeah. Uh, Journey's stamp of approval came almost as fast. The band says it knew right away Arnell possessed not just the voice, but the emotion and soul their songs needed. What they wouldn't discover until later was why. Since I was five years old, my, when, when my mom was still alive, he, uh, she would just call me and, you know, we listened to the radio with Barbara Streisand and Karen Carpenter and she would ask me to sing with her. His parents were both tailors and Arnell, the oldest of four boys, always knew when his father walked towards him with a tape measure, it meant new clothes for another singing contest. I would run away. No, 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 no contest for me. I, I hate it. I'm so sh because I was very, very shy. I can only sing really loud when I'm beside my mother. But Arnell's mother died when he was just 13 after a long illness that left the family bankrupt. Arnell ended up homeless, sleeping in a Manila park, collecting scrap metal to get enough money to eat. For three days, I have like I only have like a piece. A pocket of biscuit with me, I have to keep it really warm because in three days that, that'll be my food. It wasn't until he was older, crooning in Hong Kong nightclubs, that he realized his mother had already given him the only thing he needed to survive. She taught you to sing? Yes. <laughs> I think uh, it's, it's her voice that... Uh, that carried me all through this, uh, this pain that I've gone through, and uh, she always be the biggest, my biggest uh, uh, influence. You know, she taught me how to fight the world. You know, when when it's just when it's just when it's just not too kind on you. I mean, so she was she was everything to me. She's got to be pretty proud right now. I, uh, I think so. Ironically, the man they hired to keep Journey just the same has changed them in ways they couldn't have imagined. Arnell makes me a better guy. Newest fans. How hardcore fans receive this new Journey remains to be seen, especially those for whom Steve Perry will always be the voice. He set the bar, he's left us with a very highly valued legacy of music and the way I, I think we all feel now is we have someone to honor that with. And their Filipino frontman is not just singing those Journey songs, he's living them. Just don't give up, I mean, don't stop believing. <laughs> Amen.